So a lot of these companies, what they are doing is they're going to the FDA and they're saying, hey, FDA, we are a 361 tissue product. We are not a drug. We have no living stem cells in our product because if we did, we would have to be a 351 drug. So they do that. Okay. And then they turn around and on their website, they talk about how they have stem cells in a vial. They tell doctors that they have stem, living stem cells in a vial. They mm. host you know, their little symposiums at your yep. Hilton with, yep. you know, 50, 80 year olds and sucker them into living stem cells in a vial. And so it, morally, I'm just like, I'm not going to work with any of you because you're just, you're lying to both sides of the equation. Yep. And then lastly is there was a, a good study that was done. This was pre COVID. I think it was 2019 where a group of researchers took the top six products in the U S at that time that claims they had living stem cells in their vial and they did the proper analysis to prove if they did or didn't. And not a single one of them had living stem cells in the vial. Now, most of those six companies today are not around because they've been all shut down or have yeah. gone bankrupt. <laughs> and so there's different ones. And so maybe that's a little bit different. However, it's just the nature of the environment here is that you've just got a lot of companies who say they've got something in their vial and they just don't. And so for that reason, we do all autologous. So we do bone marrow and we do fat tissue. It comes from you. It goes back into you the exact same day. And those have a lot of living stem cells in them. And that's what we use.